All right, let's move on to high school hoops. Oak Ridge boys basketball senior guard Brendan Scott shown a lot of resilience this season. As, as Emily Ray Cochran tells us, the resilience and leadership he's shown in his senior year is making a big difference for his team now. Brennan Scott's basketball journey started when he was three years old at just a small rec league in Oliver Springs. One of his earliest memories is the feeling of making a shot, but funny enough, one of his first buckets ended up going in the wrong hoop. I came down the wrong side of the court and like scored wide open. Like I was so proud of myself and I saw everybody like saying no, no. Those early lessons solidified Scott's love for the game and fast forward 15 years later, he's a senior starter who averages 14 points this season at Oak Ridge High School. You know, as a coach, as a high school coach, he's a he's the type of kid that you want to coach. He's a type of kid that's unselfish. He's a he's a great teammate. Hey Charlie, shoot the first one. First one. But earlier this month, everything changed. Scott was experiencing off the court problems, dizziness and shortness of breath. A health scare during practice sent him to the emergency room. The diagnosis would keep him off the court for the rest of his career. Get it stopped, man, get it stopped. It really just felt like a stab in the heart because like you never expect that to happen. And then when it happens, it's like, dang, like, I, you know, it's really how it is. You know, I don't really know where to go from here. Scott has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The most common cause of cardiac death in young athletes where the heart muscle gets so thick it reduces blood flow to the rest of the body. I could tell just when he answered the phone that I didn't really like his tone. My first thought was just, you know, I'm glad they found it. Then the other part of me was, you know, just how sorry I felt for Brennan. Since receiving the news, Scott has yet to miss a game or a practice, but his role has changed to a vocal leader on the bench. Ooh! and he brings a ton of energy to practice. Did you get that one? Despite a life-altering change, Scott says staying involved in basketball is a way for him to give back to a program and a sport that's given him so much over the years. It's really just for the love like, of basketball. You know, the love that I've gotten over the years just from playing this game, like, it's now, it's my turn to kind of give it back to the people who really, like, you know, deserve it. Keep working, boy. It puts things back in perspective. As coaches, we get stressed out about trying to win a game. It's just, just that reminder of, um, hey, there's more, there's more to life than basketball. Scott's heart condition ended his ability to play, but his heart still holds love for the game he started 15 years ago, and he hopes to inspire others struggling through similar obstacles. Great that they're doing that for him. And you saw the B. Scott mm -hmm. shirts that they wore. They, they wear those in all their warm-ups before their games to honor him this season. They also have wristbands as well that says B. Scott. Coach Aaron Green says he has not taken off his wristband ever since he received it. Obviously, a lot of love on that team for Scott. Terrific tribute. And what a team player he is, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And just move to the bench and start coaching. Keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.